Hello, everyone, and um, welcome to the AIHM Fellowship in Integrative Health and Medicine Spring Graduation 2021. Uh, we are delighted to have you join us um, from whatever part of the world you are in. My name is Erica Capaluti, and I am the director of the fellowship program. And uh, some of our team members from the fellowship are also able to join us. And we are celebrating quite an accomplishment by a group of diverse healthcare professionals who are part of our sixth graduating class. Um, hard to believe that it's number six already, but here at AIHM, we are just so extraordinarily proud of these individuals. Uh, before I kind of go any further, I just want to take a moment for those of you who might be joining or who may watch at a later time who don't really know much about our program. I just um, want to spend a minute or two to um, tell you a little bit about the AIHM Fellowship Program. It is a what we consider a hybrid program wherein much of the work is done online, um, but there are usually opportunities to come together in a retreat format, uh, less so with our pandemic of late. Uh, and it is an interprofessional fellowship program, which is really one of the unique features um, that we um, here are, are so proud of. And what that means is that our cohorts consist of a very diverse group of healthcare pr professionals across all different disciplines. So we have medical doctors, doctors of osteopathic medicine, we have clinical psychologists, chiropractors, pharmacists, naturopathic doctors, nurse practitioners, physician assistants, dentists, licensed acupuncturists, physical therapists, um, certified nurse midwives, and the list goes on. And the reason why that is an important aspect of of the training is because we believe that when you provide care um, to clients and patients, when done interprofessionally across disciplines, it makes for a much better experience um, in the delivery of that care. But it's also wonderful to work across professions because we as the providers learn from one another. So the program is 1000 hours, uh, generally takes about two years to complete, sometimes a little bit longer. And keep in mind that all of these individuals who have completed this program have done so while generally working uh, part-time or full-time. Many of them have families and are raising families. And in addition to all of that, if that weren't enough to try to navigate and, and be doing work every week, they had to do it in the throes of an epic pandemic, which has clearly, you know, touched the lives of all of us. So, you know, I can't say how proud we are enough of, of these folks and, and we really just um, admire them for their resilience, their perseverance in, you know, times that have been even, you know, more challenging. And so, this is our opportunity to celebrate them, uh, celebrate what they have accomplished, um, because it really is um, an extraordinary thing. And um, I also want to mention, this is our first cohort that we will be graduating with a group of social impact scholars. So over two years ago, AIHM partnered with the Family Health Centers of San Diego, with I Am For Us, which is Integrative Medicine for the Underserved, and with the Veterans Administration. And they worked with us in identifying uh, a number of applicants who ultimately received full scholarships uh, for their work in um, underserved populations. And we know that what they've learned um, is already playing out in real time in their clinics. And it's wonderful to see that. And this is really you know, an important aspect of what we do here at AIHM because we believe that not only is you know, healthcare and access to healthcare a basic human right, but access to integrative healthcare should be the same. 
And so one of our charges in this organization and um, in the fellowship in particular is to educate um, practitioners across all disciplines, across the world, because we believe that health, integrative healthcare should be available to all. And uh, we are confident that, that these folks, as they go forward, um, will continue to bring this to their local communities and help advance this cause. So to um, our graduates in particular, um, you know, it's been, it's been an amazing journey. And um, it, you know, we on the fellowship team, and I know that I speak for everybody, for Jess, our academic success coordinator for April, whom many of you met early on when you were in your application process. And for Brian Hoff, you know, our wizard behind the curtain, I always say, our online education manager. Um, on behalf of all of us, it has really been a privilege, you know, to work with you. It, it has also been a lot of fun. Uh, you guys have, you know, such, you know, beautiful, diverse personalities. And I know that we laughed a lot together and, um, you know, we grew a lot together. And I think it's safe to say that, you know, this is a transformational experience for, you know, for not just you, but for us as well. And, you know, we are deeply grateful that, you know, you, you opted to, you know, walk this part of your journey with us. And, you know, I would say <clears throat> in looking ahead, you know, above all else, be true to yourselves, right? And I think be authentic um, a, a, as you go forward. I think so many of you have honored that authenticity and that's what brought you to this fellowship uh, to begin with is because you weren't happy with your current practice in medicine and you're not happy with the way healthcare is being delivered and you want to change or, you know, personally you want to change. And so in going forward, embrace that, uh, that authenticity and be true to yourselves. The second thing that I would say is be gentle with yourselves. So think back on all of the self-care that you had the opportunity to practice uh, throughout the course of the fellowship and think about the value that that brings and that brought to you and that you you all wrote about and reflected on. And again, um, that is a unique aspect of this program is the emphasis on self-care. Because when you show up for your patients and your clients, the best version of you is going to be present only if you take care of yourselves first. And that's just really something important to remember. And then finally, I would say, as you go forward, do so with an unyielding and insatiable curiosity and, and determination you know, for, for a greater understanding, for more learning, um, and, and just continue to do this work with a deep passion and compassion for those that you serve. Uh, we have no doubt that you will do wonderful things, um, you know, going forward. And we've, we've already seen that. I mean, a lot of you are implementing, you know, changes in your own practices. Some of you may be shifting gears completely and starting new integrative practices, uh, you know, as a result of your experience here. And, uh, you know, we are excited to see how all of that plays out in the future. Uh, after today, each of you will be an alumni of the fellowship program, and uh, we're, we're thrilled about that. We certainly hope that you will continue to remain engaged in the AIHM community, come to conferences, be part of our all fellows and alumni monthly meetings. Perhaps you might consider serving as mentors for our new fellows coming into the program. Um, perhaps you might ultimately serve on the faculty and uh, help us out with things like OSCE reviews, uh, near and dear to my heart. But we look forward to continuing to work with you. Um, we're, we're sad to see you go, um, but you know, we're also excited about you know, your future and you know, what you will all contribute uh, to integrative health across this, this great planet of ours. Um, on behalf of the entire fellowship team, really thank you. Um, 
you know, for, for being a part of this and for allowing us to serve you. So um, what I'll do uh, at this point is introduce um, three of our board members. Um, let me just make sure that uh, Dr. Guarneri has joined us. Um, She's so here. Great, thank you. Um, so I would like to introduce um, Dr. Mimi Guarneri, who is the founding president of the Academy of Integrative Health and Medicine. Uh, she's an integrative cardiologist and is really sort of, you know, the, the designer and, and, and why this fellowship even exists. Uh, she's on our faculty and all of you know her. Um, I also want to introduce Dr. Bill Meeker, who's a chiropractor and Bill is uh, currently our chairman of the board of directors of AIHM. And I also wanna inter introduce Dr. Scarlett Soriano, a medical doctor who um, is on our board and who also happens to be an alumna of this fellowship program. So we are, are delighted to have uh, these three board members here with us today. Um, I will yield the floor first to you, Mimi, and then you can pass the torch and each um, will say a few words to our graduating fellows. Hi, thank you so much, Erica. And uh, what would we be without a big thank you and hug to you uh, with the beautiful uh, Sedona in your background there? Uh, the fellowship team, uh, you guys are just amazing. And to all the graduates, I have to say that to come through the past year and have persevered and have uh, brought this dream to fruition is nothing short of a miracle, but a, and a testament to your strength. It really and truly is. Uh, you know, when this fellowship was created, a lot of people said to me, who would do that? And you know, we said we can't change healthcare if we don't work together interprofessionally. We can't change healthcare if we don't take care of ourselves. And we can't change healthcare if we're not well versed in all of the global healing traditions. Uh, we can't just have a toolbox that has a drug and a surgery in it. Uh, so you guys are adventurous. And I always believe the right words come at the right time. And so I like to read this little book. Some of you may know it. It's called The Daily Word. And I just want to share with you today's word because I thought it was so appropriate for graduation. The word is free. And it says, I am free to reach for the stars. Today, I celebrate my freedom to be exactly who I am. In all the world, there is no one exactly like me. And that is true of each and every one of you. My talents, my traits, my passions are uniquely my own, and they are the tools I need to fulfill my purpose and reach my potential. When I read this, I thought this is graduation. Each and every one of you are unique and you bring, you strengthen the chain. You strengthen all of us because uh, we can't do this one person alone. I build on that foundation, the foundation that you have now, and I'm free to dream big dreams and make bold plans and reach for all that life has to offer. So that's what I wish for each and any, every one of you, that you reach for all that life has to offer and you dare to keep dreaming and keep imagining a healthcare world where it's about health creation, it's about healthy healers, it's about all the wisdom that you've learned. So good luck and congratulations and thank you for allowing me to be part of this great group. Thank you. Great, thanks Mimi. Uh, Bill, to you. Thanks Erica. And um, you know, I've, I've been in uh, college administration and teaching for 
almost 40 years now. And I've attended over 150 graduations, but I have to say this is one of those graduations that is really special. Uh, every time that we have this, I'm just so amazed about the people uh, who have gone through this. So I want to thank all of you graduates out there of our fellowship program. Congratulations from the bottom of my heart. Thank you very much for what you've really demonstrated over this past year. I find myself really, I don't have the words, I'm inadequate to express my, uh, my appreciation for the fact that you have so much altruism, you have so much dedication, and you have so much resilience. Um, I think this is something to do with grit. Um, you all have demonstrated a tremendous amount of grit to get through this process and come out the other end with this fellowship credential that you have now. I mean, you are all now even more accomplished scholars and this fellowship has just added to your edu educational credentials, uh, which were already impressive before you came into this program. But I dare say that you all have been probably transformed by your experience over the last couple of years. Um, it's not only that you have more knowledge now, you now have the skills, you have the knowledge to actually act in ways that are probably, and we know are better for you and for your patients and for the globe, in fact. Um, and to remind you, you know, you are now part of a much larger community of integrative healthcare practitioners uh, that's made up of professions of many, many different kinds. Um, and our mission at the Academy is to advance holistic integrative health globally. And I know that you are all going to make a major difference. Well, something about this community of professionals that you've already been a part of, but you're joining at an even greater level now. And I was reviewing, you know, some things I could say. You're going to hear uh, lots of things about uh, how great it's been you've been through this program. But, you know, you're joining a community now. And I thought I would just read to you the dream of AIHM that we have published a number of years ago. And I think it's still true. And it goes like this. You know, we too have a dream where healthcare is about health and available to all, where prevention is our, is our foundation and mechanical fixes are embraced when we, when we need them, where all healthcare providers work collaborative, collaboratively to heal the body, the mind, and the spirit, where sustainability is integrated into our culture, practice, and training. We are the solution. We are working together to establish a new paradigm of healthcare for humanity and the planet. We envision a world where humanity and the planet are healthy. And you are the latest individuals to join that team to really make this a reality. So thank you very, very, very much on behalf of the board of directors. Um, I couldn't be prouder of you and, uh, uh, and great. it's so great to have you all on this team. So Erica, back to you. Thank you, Bill, much appreciated. Scarlett, my dear. Thank you so much for the opportunity to, um, to be with you today. Um, it's a true honor. And as Erica mentioned, it wasn't that long ago that I was a fellow. I still remember. I just have to say, Jess Price, man, without you, I don't know if I could have made it through that you know, finish line. So yay. <laughs> when you're like, you can do it. That last module, you got this. So <laughs> um, it really matters, all those acts of kindness and all the brilliance, Erica, that you bring and all the love and all of the, all of the work and um, a true determination to impact our, our healthcare system and our understanding of health. But I wanna do actually something a little bit different in the couple of minutes that I have. I'm going to ask you if you would allow me to join me in a, in a guided visualization. Um, it'll just be about a minute, minute and a half. And there might be some dogs that bark in the background. You know, this is the Zoom pandemic moment here. Hopefully not, but, um, but if you feel comfortable, if it's safe for you to do so, I invite you to close your eyes and just relax your body a little bit. And if not, you can just gently lower your gaze. And, um, I invite you now to take a moment and just become aware 
of your heart. Become aware of the space within your chest that you identify as your heart of hearts. For me, it's sort of at the center of my chest. You could even place a hand here if it feels right to you. And I'm going to invite you to imagine that in this place is the most brilliant sphere of light, like an inner sun that is bright, 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 impossibly bright. Give it whatever color feels right to you. And imagine that this is a magical place, that this is a place where love is unconditional. But this is a place where peace is the norm. Where this is a place where wisdom comes to you when you need it effortlessly. Imagine that this sphere is a portal of sorts into the highest, the most authentic, the truest expression of your true self. And so I'm going to invite all of us to use our imaginations and shift our perspective such that we can envision ourselves actually standing as if we had shrunk somehow and standing outside this sphere in the center of our chest, beholding its brilliance, beholding its purity. And with your next breath, I invite you to enter. Enter this sacred place within you. And now use your imagination to make this a truly blessed place for you. Create here a place where you can feel the love, where you can sense the safety, where you can feel the support, where you are held unconditionally, no matter what tempests might be out there in the world or even in our own minds. Create your own version of a place that is complete love. Take a moment here, rest here. Put your feet on the ground here or swim or dance or play or even fly here. Maybe do cartwheels here, laugh for sure. Take a moment and laugh here. Allow yourself to be completely unbounded and unlimited here. Fill your cup here. Know yourself as you truly are here. And when you feel that you have really loved yourself here, Allow yourself to create an intention that you will always come here whenever you need it, that you will always remember that this place is yours and that this is the bridge that can hold you, that can walk you into greater peace, resilience, wisdom, and clarity when needed. If you wish, you could even plant a seed here. Plant an intention here for whatever quality you need the most right now, whether love, patience, trust, confidence, knowing that it will grow here. 
And if you wish, you can give thanks for this place in whatever way feels right for you. I naturally bring my palms together in gratitude. You can do so, or you can do whatever is right. Give thanks to yourself for creating this place. Give thanks to all the love that is in it. And then gently walk out, knowing that you will come back. Bringing your awareness back to the present space in which you are, to your current environment. Perhaps give yourself a, one more moment to smile, to remember this, and then gently opening your eyes or raising your gaze. Just want to invite all of you to come to this place whenever you need it. We have the inner resources to walk our journey, no matter what it brings, and to find within ourselves all that we need to fulfill what we're here to fulfill and to raise the reality for the whole. Thank you. Thank you, Sorrel. Beautiful as ever. Um, before I actually present the graduates, I just want to see if um, Dr. Tabitha Parker, our executive director of AIHM, would like to say a word or two. Tabby? Thanks, Erica. Um, I just want to really congratulate all of you. Um, I, I always feel so close to the fellowship cohorts and, and each of you have your own personalities as a collective. And you know this, this group has just meant so much to our team. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what you all do out in the world. Um, you know, it's just a really exciting time to be a part of integrative and holistic health globally. Um, and there are so many opportunities for all of us to work together um, within our own local communities, within the larger global community, and then within our individual professions. And I, I think that one of the things that this cohort in particular, and in working with um, Family Health Centers of San Diego, um, to see all of the different professions that came together and really learned from each other and, and how that is just so much richer and helps to deliver such better care to patients. I'm just really inspired by all of you. And I really look forward to continuing to work together to change how um, every person on this planet gets to receive healthcare. So thank you all. Um, and I just have a really wonderful day and weekend and celebration. You know, this is a really, really difficult program. And, you know, for those of you who haven't um, done a program like this, who are out there uh, watching, um, these, especially in this year, my God, um, this group is just going to move mountains out there. So thank you all so much for all you've given and all you'll continue to do for the, our community. Thanks, Tabby. All right, Jess, you want to share your screen, please? Okay. So um, it is a great honor for me to present the following um, fellows for graduation. Um, having successfully completed all of the requirements of the AIHM fellowship program. And um, I would ask that all of you remain on mute until the very end, and then you'll have the opportunity for some hooting and howling um, when everybody can, can uh, come off mute. So uh, Karen Atencio, medical doctor. Chase Lincoln Bellotti, doctor of physical therapy. Sandra Cervantes, medical doctor. 
Sarah Cloutier, medical doctor. Dane Crockford, doctor of psychology. Julie Culligan, doctor of philosophy in psychology. Cheryl Ann Cuozo, advanced practice registered nurse and certified nurse practitioner. Robert Eric Dinenberg, medical doctor. Nima Fayez Manesh, medical doctor. Rosemary Fullard, medical doctor, graduating with honors. Michaela Hermit, medical doctor. Jeffrey Jake Hollingsworth, doctor of osteopathic medicine. John Frederick Lewison, medical doctor. Antonio Linares, medical doctor. Cadelba Lomeli Loibol, registered nurse and certified nurse practitioner. Julie Fong Tao Lu, doctor of osteopathic medicine. Sarah Lynn Mann, medical doctor. Monique Manganelli Orr, medical doctor. Alicia McKelvey, medical doctor. Sandeep Mehta, medical doctor. Lynn Nguyen, medical doctor. Julie Olson, doctor of chiropractic. Ramakrishna Hemaraju Rao, medical doctor. Lauren Ramsey, Certified Physician Assistant. Richard Rojas, Doctor of Chiropractic. Misty Spencer Prince, Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of uh, Surgery. Christine Tracy, Doctor of Osteopathic Medicine. Tony Young Penn, Certified Physician Assistant. And Andres Zuleta, Medical Doctor. So if you would all unmute and let's hear your applause. Nice job, guys. Congratulations. Congrats. 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 Congrats, everyone. Well done. Well done, everybody. So proud of you. Very proud. Miss you all. Miss you guys. <laughs> Big hug from San Diego for all. <laughs> I brought you the beach, you guys. I'm not sure if my microphone works now. Is it, is it working? Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Yes. So, hi from Seychelles. It's almost midnight. <laughs> Miss you guys. Congratulations on the baby, Becca. Thank you. Oh, I have a fun. Oh, anyway, I wanted to show you guys. Oh, 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 cute. oh cute Congrats, Michaela. She's in great. <laughs> I'm looking for dessert. I take a bite out of those cheeks. <laughs> Congratulations. I just want to say quickly, like, I'm so proud of all of you. You put in so much hard work and effort to make this happen, and it is no small feat in any way whatsoever. And I just love you guys all so much. And um, I want to make sure that um, we have a moment to hear from a couple of our graduates too. 
So I'm going to uh, turn it over to Alicia McKelvey next, if you want to say a few words. Thank you, and congratulations, everyone. Um, much of what I have to say has already been said, but in looking at my journey, it's hard to believe that almost four years ago, Erica, you and I were sitting in the hospital cafeteria talking about transformation and change of career. And you introduced me to AIHM. So I thank you. But you know, who would have thought that by going through this educational process, how much it transforms the clinician. And I have to thank all of you for being part of my transformation. Because in transforming healthcare, I think that's in some place, that's one place we have to start is with the providers. And this program has helped me to rediscover who I wanna be as a physician, how I wanna move through the world. It has helped me rediscover my authentic self. So I thank you all again. And I also thank Brian for really helping this Luddite out with all the e-learning and also Jess and April for all their unfailingly awesome support. And again, thank you, Erica. Thanks, Alicia. Cadelvo? Sorry. Yes, sorry, couldn't find me on mute. Go ahead. Cadelvo, we'd love to hear from you next. Thank you. And thanks, Alicia, for your really moving words right now. Um, I really resonate with, with that about um, changing, changing the, the provider and how much this program has, has changed me. Um, my comments will be brief. It's so wonderful to see all of you, um, even if just virtually. Um, I um, am currently 39 weeks pregnant. So my mind has been all over the place and focused on preparing for some big life changes. But it was really important to me to also be able to, to uh, take this opportunity to, to speak with everyone because the program has meant so much to me over the last two years. And I still remember the email that I got from Integrative Medicine for the underserved um, that I had an organization that I had been a part of for a few years and it was announcing the scholarship for the AIHM program. And at that time I had never heard of AIHM and the application I think was due in a week or 10 days or sometime really soon, but. I remember feeling a, just a sense of certainty that this was exactly what I wanted to do and this was the, the right moment to do it. Um, and uh, similar to what Alicia said, although I think you've been practicing for way longer, um, I had been a nurse practitioner for five years at that point and I just had a sense that there was more to creating a healing environment than the the medical model and that there had to be more options to offer patients for their healing and well-being but that I needed support and evidence and just and most importantly the community of other health professionals to like really explore all the options that could be available to patients um, and so I am just so thankful that for that moment of intuition, because over the past two years, this fellowship has, has offered all those things to me and, and also just much more that I wasn't even aware of that, that would help me grow. Um, and I had a lot of questions about whether uh, the AIHM program would be right for me. I think as many of the other providers know who also work in community clinics that most of the traditional discourse of integrative medicine isn't accessible to our patients with 
expensive labs and multiple treatments and complex diets and um and so I wondered what what from this I would be able to offer my patients and it has been so much I feel like I've I've been able to offer so much back to patients and and also that's changed me how I show up for my patients and recognizing that just showing up as a therapeutic presence and listening more and asking more questions just that encounters with the patients have changed and and affect their their healthcare differently um and then um also i just wanted to say thanks to all the other graduates i think people have mentioned that it's a thousand hours program which i was trying to break it down that's like 500 hours in a year which is more hours they're 365 days so it's it's more than an hour a day and that's a really big commitment so i've just been uh honored and inspired to to learn with and from all of the other graduates and also all of our professors um, and teachers who created really, especially in the moment of the, of the pandemic, who, who transitioned so much of the learning to e-learning um, and, and the ability of AIHM to make changes and support us throughout this pandemic has been huge. Um, and I also wanted to say that I'm impressed with the response of AIHM to, to change and then specifically inclusion of more leadership of people of color, um, having conversations uh, about cultural appropriation of, of healing modalities developed by indigenous people and people of color and focusing on healthcare inequities as a crucial aspect of integrative medicine. And this just makes such a difference to be in a learning environment with, with people who are um excited and willing to make changes and where there's so much that can be seen even from the last conference of the dedication of AIHM to honoring um black and brown and indigenous healers and and medical traditions um and and acknowledging the huge impact that that's had on the integrative medicine field so i'm really excited um, to continue in this journey with all of you now as graduates and to continue being part of AIHM. Um, and so, so very thankful for this opportunity and all the ways that it's changed me and, and helped my patients and I know will help all of our patients um, going forward. So thank you so much. Um, and I'm so happy to be celebrating this moment with you. Thank you, Kadelva. We're happy to be celebrating as well. Um, next, we have Misty. Hi, Misty. Hi, everybody. I'm so happy to be here. Excited with you. <laughs> oh, my. Um, this is amazing. It's, it's priceless, you know, sharing the time. I'm one of two, as far as I know, foreign um, residents who got accepted into the program. I'm from the Caribbean. If you hear an accent, it's a Trini Bahamian mix, I would think. And my background has been family medicine. Um, but in working in, in the government system, you know, a lot of us share the same stories. There are deficiencies and physician burnout. And that led me to leave the government institution where I worked for over 16 years and search for more. Um, more for the sake of my health, which was dwindling. <laughs> um, and I found health coaching. And after finishing that after a year, I was like, what else is there? And that is when relationship stepped in. And I know, um, Alicia, you had mentioned that it was through relating to Erica that you found out about the program. Well, with me, it was through relating to another um, alumnus, that is Dr. Larry Caesar and his good friend and brother, um, Ke Kevin Peters, that I found out about this program. Prior to that, I didn't know. And uh, so 
it was suggested I apply after some uh, contemplation I did. And I'm so happy that I did because not only was I accepted, but I was also offered a, a unique scholarship. And that's another thing about this particular institute that I value, the giving back, the giving back into society and into community. And that program gave back, AIHM gave back to me. So as I started the program, there were some obvious challenges, technical on my side in particular, but I knew that in the midst of it, I had to stick with it because I could not give what I didn't have. You understand? Just as how we have come to the end of ourselves and we realize that there is more for my client, for my patient, for myself, for my family, but I need resource. And so this program over the last two years was able to provide me um, with the resource that I needed to help everyone, include, including take care of myself. I remember Erica, you said, be true to yourself. I said, Erica, yes, be true, be gentle, self-care. And that is what this program has also taught me. I am amazed that it's not just what the program taught, but how it taught it. Um, the whole idea of being comprehensive, holistic, creative, and integrative was seen not just in the modules, not just in the courses, not just in how the material was shared, but also when we were able to meet in our retreats, in our opening circles, um, in our, in Trinidad, we call this LIME, where we hang out together through the formal discussions, the lighthearted moments, uh, you know, just all through our interaction, you got the same singular authentic message. And I thank all of my colleagues, all of you, right? Too many names to count, <laughs> to call. You know, you've all played a part in making an impression that would last, that makes me think, that makes me value the community that I'm now a part of. And not only with retreat sessions in person, but also the organization's ability to rise to the occasion, um, having Zoom meetings, having um, our conferences, being uh, Zoomed in so that we could all participate. I mean, this, is, this has just been excellent. Uh, we now have a WhatsApp group that a lot of us, if not all of us are a part of, and we share life. We don't just share medicine. We don't just share clinical cases. We share personal experiences. We encourage each other. This, who can pay for this, all right? No one can pay for this. This is priceless. And so I really do want to thank the staff, um, Erica, um, Tabitha, in particular, I want to thank um, Jessica, of course, <laughs> the can-do person, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, April, Brian, you know, and all, all, all my colleagues, all of you. I want to thank um, Larry Caesar, Kevin Peters and his family, who's not just words, but supported in more ways than one. Of course, my family, Sheldon and the kids, the four kids that we rear together. Thank you so much. And guys, let's keep together. Let's keep coordinated. Let's keep in communication and let's continue to share life. Love you. Thank you, Misty. Okay, next we're gonna hear from Dane. All right, hi everyone. <clears throat> um, feeling so joyful to be celebrating uh, this milestone with all you guys and it's just such a beautiful feeling to see all your faces and feel the, the presence. Um, that you all bring to, to all of our interactions. Um, AIM is, th this fellowship has been a really special experience for me and one that I really, um, really needed uh, over the past few years and, and needed when, when it um, came in, uh, it, when it was an option. Um, a little over two years ago, I was working at, at an FQHC. I was feeling exhausted and, and burned out and, not really seeing how how to move forward from it and um 
at the same time, I, I was very much aware of this deep commitment that I felt to be a part of the mission of um, providing health care to underserved communities. And I, I didn't know uh, what to do. And um, I kind of said a, a, a prayer actually in that moment. And I just said, if this is where I'm supposed to be, if this is what I'm supposed to be doing, please help me. <laughs> like, I need something. I need something, please. And uh, and it was the following day I got an email uh, about this opportunity of uh, scholarships to participate in this program. And the more I read about it, the more energy I could feel coming into my body and excitement that I had been lacking for, for some time. And um, it was that spark that was returning, that, that excitement that got me into it in the first place, that feeling of alignment that I was doing what I, I'm here to do. Um, uh, was returning and I, I knew that that was a, a direction I needed to, to go and um, the self-care that that you guys have mentioned is so so important and um, I think we all give so much of ourselves uh, to make um, to make quality care a reality and um, I think we all need community uh, to support us in the process and uh, I have not ha ever had a community like this one uh, available to me uh, up until this point and um, it feels like a place to come and feel um, feel connected uh, to the mission feel like people understand uh, that they'll be there for me as I need um, as needed and um, that they understand what what it means to do this work and um, I believe that that AIHM is 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 is, is um, kind of a, a beacon of light. It was for me at least, and I think it, it has been for many uh, in showing the way forward, so that we don't lose that that hope, uh, and so that we can provide that that light for the people that we try to to serve and to help. And um, I'm really grateful for each and every every one of you, and I look forward to continuing on this this journey that we're on all together. Um, I wanted to share with you a quote as um, a favorite of mine from one of my, my idols, which is uh, Malala Yousafzai, the um, kind of human rights activist. And um, in one of her speeches, when she was receiving the Nobel Peace Prize, she, uh, she made the comment that uh, if not now, when? Uh, and if not us, then who? And uh, that resonated very deeply for me because um, this path is a hard one to walk, but it's so important, you know, and, uh, um, and having, a and, um, knowing that there's other people out there, uh, in that fight makes all the difference for me. So, uh, I love you guys and, um, I'm just very, very grateful. Thanks. Uh. Thank you all um, for your very moving and eloquent comments. Um, you know, I think for those of us, you know, in AIHM and particularly on the fellowship team, you know, we are reminded of um, the importance, you know, of what we do. You know, for those of you who are tuning in, not familiar with AIHM or the fellowship program, I think, you know, what you just heard, um, you know, in form of testimonial really, you know, is a very representative cross-section of, you know, what we over the years have continued to hear. And it is a very powerful, you know, reminder of the importance of the work that we do. I mean, it is truly transformational, um, you know, in so many ways. Um, it's a unique transformation for each person that completes this program, but it's transformational, you know, for, you know, healthcare on a larger scale. Um, it's transformational to us, the staff. It's transformational to our larger community. And, um, you know, as we wrap up here, 
I would, you know, just again, you know, express, you know, gratitude uh, to all of you, you know, new, new alumni now of the fellowship program. Uh, thank you for, you know, being a part of this. Thank you for all of the work uh, that you are doing and that you will continue to do. You know, know that, you know, we are always here for you. Um, you, are, you are resources for one another. You are resources for those you serve. You know, you are resources for those who will follow you. Um, you know, but we are here as an ongoing resource for you and uh, hope to continue to work with you and hear from you about the wonderful things that you're doing and the changes that you're making. Um, as you know, we continue to do this and, and coalesce a much larger integrative health community, the change is inevitable um, and it's coming and you know, we know that and you will be an integral part of that. And so, um, you know, from the bottom of my heart and those that, you know, are around me, again, most deep congratulations um, to you for what you've accomplished, the beautiful beings that you are, go forth and continue to do this great work. Um, and uh, we are so very proud of you. So have a fantastic weekend, um, celebrate um, as well deserved. And uh, we look forward to you know seeing you on the on the airwaves at our next conference and uh, you know at our next alumni uh, fellow meeting. So thanks to all of you. And blessings to all. Thank you, everyone. Congratulations! Woohoo! Congratulations! Bye -bye. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> I hope, I, thank hope you thank you everyone. Thanks, Jessica. Thanks, Erica. Underground places Saturday. Tony. Thank you. We love you. Bye. Bye. Congratulations. Bye, Richard. Bye, everyone. Bye, bye, bye Sandra. Bye. 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 Bye.